Reviewing the Series 4 Apple Watch in 2020 is really interesting because it literally sits in the middle between the Series 3 and the Series 5. And comparing it to the Series 3, the new display redesign found on the Series 4 is definitely is a lot more pleasant to look at, but not only that, it makes viewing and reading text messages a better experience as well because I don't find myself having to rotate the digital crown a lot to scroll when reading messages like I did with my Series 3. But then when you compare it against the Series 5, the overall performance is identical between these two Apple Watches. As well as it also shares all the important features that's found on the Series 5 on the Series 4, such as the fall detection, the decibel reader, which works fantastic. With this feature enabled, basically what this will allow you to do is notify you in case you've been exposed to high decibel levels in your environment for a long period of time that's known to cause hearing damage. It will send you a push notification, giving you a heads up that it's time for you to go to a different place or something like that. And then my most favorite feature is the auto workout detection because on the Series 4, upon its launch, it received internal upgrades as well, like a better, more improved accelerometer and gyroscope. And with the auto workout detection enabled, if you're doing like a cardio run or something like that on the elliptical machine, if it detects the same rhythm motion, for longer than two or three minutes, it will send you a push notification if you want to record this and it will actually credit you the time. So gone are the days of you accidentally forgetting to start a workout to log that information. And then since the Series 4 does have the auto workout detection, it also receives the hand washing timer that's found and new for watchOS 7. Yes, it does not have a built-in compass, but to be honest, it's not really necessary and I never really find myself having to use it on my Series 5. And even if you do need a compass, modern day iPhones now have this built into them. But the always on display that's found on the Series 5 isn't really all that necessary because it has its pros and cons. Yes, it is cool being able to view your Apple Watch display no matter the angle. So if I have my hand like this, if this was a Series 5, I could just look at it and take a quick glance and I could see the watch face complication, know the weather and such without having to actually tap on the display. But there's times when that always on display is really distracting. One of which is when I'm driving. The reflection off the window, I find it to be really distracting. And when you're looking at the car from the outside, all you see is like a glowing light. So even though the Series 4 doesn't have the always on display, it's not really necessary. Then there is a likelihood of the Series 3 becoming discontinued. And then when the new Series 6 Apple Watch gets released, there's a possibility that the Series 4 may become pre-released to the public. I say this because Apple has done this multiple times in the past. A fine example was when the Series 3 first got released. The Series 1 came back, but in new additional color options. So what might possibly happen is when the Series 6 gets released, the Series 3 is going to become discontinued, but the Series 4 is going to take its place again. So this Apple Watch that I have here is the Nike version of the Series 4. The Series 4 comes included in two size choices to choose from. The 44, larger 44 screen display is this one. And then there is also the smaller 40 millimeter display. This being a Nike edition, you do get exclusive watch faces and you also get some exclusive Nike color choices as well. Other exclusive is the band options. It's different than the standard Apple Watch Sport as you have the choice, an option between the one with the holes to allow liquid to evaporate quicker. And then you also get the choice of this Sport Loop Band, which actually has built-in reflective yarn, which is great for outdoor runners. If you're running at night, you're visible to oncoming traffic. Now, other internal improvements found in the Series 4 was the digital crown. The heptic tap engine inside the Series 4 was improved. So now on the digital crown, whenever you rotate the digital crown, it actually feels like a mechanical watch as it actually gives you realistic feedback when you're scrolling. This not only feels very satisfying, it also helps out a lot whenever you're scrolling to make selections. With the Series 3, there's no feedback whenever you're using the digital crown, so it just feels like it's just floating. The Series 4 was also the first Apple Watch to introduce ECG on any smartwatch. And this works surprisingly really well, especially when you combo it with the heart rate sensor. You can literally find stories of people reporting that their Apple Watch was able to detect a health complication as the Apple Watch can actually send a push notification if it detects something unusual. So it will notify its user ahead of time to prevent any health complications to occur. And when you combo that with the ECG, the Apple Watch is able to confirm certain things. So you can seek medical treatment right away. So on the used market, you can find the Series 4 pricing around anywhere between 
252 low 300s, depending on the size option you choose from, which in my opinion, that's a fair price, especially since it has more internal storage compared to the Series 3. Then other things to consider between the Series 3 and the Series 4 in case you are in the market for one. The Series 4 does have the new body design style, which means there's more third-party accessories available for the Series 4 compared to the Series 3. A thing that I noticed throughout the years, ever since the release of the Series 4 and the Series 5, is that manufacturers are slowly discontinuing their accessories for the Series 3. And new accessories are now just coming out strictly only available for the newer model Apple Watches. A fine example is Pataka recently released this case and there's no word if this case will come to the Series 3. It's easy for new accessories to come out on the market like this because Series 5 accessories are compatible for the Series 4 and the current accessories that's available for the Series 3 are the same accessories that was available when the Series 3 was first launched. So third parties are no longer making this device supported as they're no longer really making accessories for it anymore. And then other advantages that you get with the Series 4 than other Apple Watches you will still receive new watch faces every time Apple release a major update. A big limitation about the Apple Watch is that it does not support third-party watch faces. So because of that, if you have a smaller display Apple Watch, some of these new watch faces aren't supported on that device. But since the Series 4 is using the, the new redesign model, it's fully supported. So you won't be left out entirely whenever a new update comes out for your Apple Watch, as you're gonna continue to get more choices, more options to really personalize your device, something you can't really do on a Series 3 or older Apple Watch. So with that said, if you wanna future-proof yourself, the Series 4 is definitely a good Apple Watch. If you're on a budget, or maybe you encounter a sweet deal on one. You're not really missing out a lot when you're comparing it against like the latest Apple Watch, the Series 5. As from my experience, both my Series 5 and Series 4 are able to give me the same all-day battery life. Then as we previously tested in this video, the performance between these two generation Apple Watches is identical. Yes, the Series 5 actually does have a bit more storage, but if we look at the storage between these two Apple Watches on what I have available, with all the third party apps and all that stuff that I have installed on both of them, I still have plenty of storage space. So running out of storage is the last thing that comes to mind when I'm using my Series 4. So until Apple Watch will allow us to download and watch videos on our wrist, there's really nothing to be concerned about when it comes to storage limitation. And then the microphone and speaker quality is great. It will get the job done. It's not terrible. From my experience, when it comes to answering a phone call, having a conversation with the Apple Watch, both the microphone and speaker quality is top notch, as I never really had an issue with the caller hearing me or the caller understanding my voice. And then when it comes to wire resistant concerns, the Apple Watch is wire resistant. It's IPX7, which means it can survive up to 50 meters. And in case you need it, there is a cellular version also available for the Series 4. So if you don't like to take your iPhone with you along your runs or other outdoor activities, a cellular option is available, which will allow you to stay connected at all times. So generally, it's a good everyday smartwatch. But now it's time to move on to the new but most beloved segment of the show, and that is answering Google's Q&A on the top search results of the Series 4. So this first question is, is the Series 4 waterproof? As we recently discussed, yes. Well, it's wire resistant. Up to 50 meters, it could go even deeper if you get a waterproof case, which I actually went ahead and covered in this video, which you could go ahead and watch if you wanna watch that later. But 50 meters, yes, it's wire resistant. And this next one, is the Series 4 worth it? Absolutely. From the design standpoint of view, it looks extremely modern. It still has the iconic Apple Watch shape that we all know and love and adapt to. Again, that larger display is gorgeous to view. And there's just a ton of support from third parties. And I doubt Apple is gonna stop supporting this Apple Watch anytime soon. I'm pretty sure this Apple Watch still has two or three more years until Apple will drop it in its software support. This next one is, is the Apple Watch compatible with the iPhone 11? As long as that iPhone is on the latest firmware and the Apple Watch is too, yes, the iPhone 11, heck, you could even pair this up to a really old iPhone like the iPhone 6S if you want to. As long as it's on the latest firmware, there's no connection issues whatsoever. This next question is, is the Apple Watch Series 4 and Series 5 the same size? The displays are identical. It's just, I believe that the Series 5 is slightly thinner, 
but it's so thin and it's really unnoticeable that they did this change. As a case for the Series 5, fits perfectly fine on the Series 4. But that is all for the Google Q&A discussion. For more Apple Watch comparison, you can always watch this video over here. So I pretty much compare every single Series Apple Watch against one another. And then that video over here, that's just a video that YouTube is suggesting specifically for you. Feel free to watch that one or this one. And if you're wondering what kind of posters I have in the background, I'll be sure I'll also link them in the video description down below. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.